All right, I want to make a quick video to show you about how to fix your ePortfolio if your Google Slides presentations aren't showing up the correct way. So I've created this test Google Slides and I've put it on my um, I've put it on my ePortfolio and then I've published it. And then if I open it up uh, in a in a uh, uh, incognito tab, uh, what it will look like is this. It'll show me, oh, you don't have access to this. You can't see this. The best way that I can tell you to fix it is very, very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to go back into that presentation. And then what you are going to do is come to file and then publish to the web. Once you go to file and publish to the web, you click on the yellow publish button and then you click OK. That means that wherever it is embedded, anybody uh, can see that. Uh, so if I click back over here now to uh, the ePortfolio page and I hit the refresh button, you can now see that presentation on uh, on your ePortfolio. And that's the way I would see it when I'm looking at it to grade it. So always make sure that if you create a project in Google Slides, before you post it to your ePortfolio, you go to File, Publish to Web. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make sure that your uh, Google drawing projects that you've done in class are correctly uploaded to your ePortfolio. I'm going to open this one that I made for an assignment uh, a, a few weeks ago. Uh, it's just a, a meme of Gene, Wild Gene Wilder from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that says, come with me and you'll be in a world of pure innovation. You'll notice that this is a, a Google drawing uh, object because the text can still be uh, edited and moved around. Uh, and then you, the, the image itself can be moved. Okay. So it's not, it's not a compressed image yet. And we're going to change that so that we can, uh, we can put it on our ePortfolio. If you try to go to your ePortfolio and add this image, what you will get is a warning that says, uh, you don't have permission to do it, or I will see a warning that says I don't have permission to view it uh, when I look at your ePortfolio. So what you have to do is this. You have to go to File and go to Download as a JPEG or PNG. These are both image files that can be added to your uh, ePortfolio. So what you're going to do is you're going to download this as a JPEG, and then it's going to put this into your... Um, into your Google Drive. If it doesn't put it into your Google Drive, we're going to double check this. Okay, so it, it, it put it in your downloads. So all we have to do right now is come over here and drag it into our Google Drive. And from our Google Drive, we'll be able to upload it into our uh, ePortfolio. So we're going to click on ePortfolio. We are going to add a new uh, layout box here. And I'm going to switch these over so because I like to go crisscross with my, uh, my setup. And I'm going to just call this image upload. And we're going to click over here and you can either uh, hit the from drive. You can select image. You could also do either one of those things from the menu over here. But we're going to select this image and we are going to put it, uh, click on from Google Drive. And then here it is, pure innovation, JPEG and click uh Add it in there. You can resize it from here if you if you so choose. But that's how you get it in there so that I can see it. If you add just this, if you go if you go over here and then you were let's say let's say we want to delete this. If you go and you click from drive and you search pure innovation because here it is. This where it was. There's going to be two different versions. There's going to be the version that is the Google drawing work in progress. And then there's going to be the, the version that is a JPEG. You've got to upload the JPEG because if you upload this, I won't be able to see it when I look at your ePortfolio. Remember, always, always, always insert the JPEG. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to take a picture with your camera and then add it to your Google Drive in order to be able to post it to your ePortfolio. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to access the camera. Uh, I have mine pinned to my taskbar down here at the bottom, but you can also click on the menu over here and uh, download it or I'm sorry, open it up. 
Uh, so I'm going to click on the camera, and once I click on the camera, you will see my face. I'm going to take a picture of this uh, 3D printed uh, bear puppet that uh, we did for a module. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duck out of here real quick, and I am going to snap a picture of that. Okay, now that that picture is in there, you have to put it in your drive in order to get it uh, posted to your ePortfolio. So you're going to close your camera. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to open up your files. This is uh, your files here. You can also access it through the menu by searching files through here. It comes up like that. But you will notice that the image that we just uh, took a picture of is now in the very, very top, uh, the very top file in our file folder. And it needs to go to your Google Drive in order to uh, post it to your ePortfolio. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on that and we're going to drag it over here and we're going to drop it in our Google Drive. And then now if we go to our Google Drive, all right, we can click on our ePortfolio. All right, from our ePortfolio, we're going to scroll down and we're going to add a new box. Uh, we're going to set this layout to look like this. How are we going to add this in here? We're going to click over here and we're going to upload from Drive. You can do it like this or you can do select image. You can also do it from the, the menu over here. Uh, but we're going to go to select image. If you're on a Chromebook, uh, it'll be on your Google Drive. So you can just click here. And then here is our image. That's the one that we want to use. And we're going to add it. And there we go. That's it. All right, guys. I'm going to show you how to be able to add videos to your ePortfolio using Screencastify, which is a uh, video recording uh, software. It's a Google Google Chrome extension. Uh, and it's, this is going to be kind of complicated because I'm using Screencastify to do this. So I'm not going to be able to, uh, I guess, click through everything and show you. But you're going to start by searching for Screencastify in the Google Web Store. Uh, it is a, like I said, it's a Chrome extension. And you'll be able to click this button here to add it to Chrome. Uh, it doesn't show that on mine because I've already clicked it and, and, and it, would do, it would take it away from now. So what you're going to do is you're going to add this to Chrome. Uh, I'm going to show you an example by going through um, this uh, video game that I created using uh, the Sketch Nation app. It's called Stranger Things Havoc and Hawkins. And I am going to uh, click over here on the Screencastify tab. And what we'll show you is that I'm already recording. Uh, but what you would do is you would uh, click on the your Chrome tab or your desktop like I'm doing, and then you would just go into uh, you would just go into recording. So in order to record some of this video game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, continue to record, and I'm going to play this game. And uh, for just a few seconds, so that I can post it to my uh, so I can post it to my ePortfolio. All right, now that I'm done with that, you need to be able to take your video and make it public. So what we're going to do in order to add it to your uh, ePortfolio is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, your drive, and then we are going to go to the Screencastify folder uh, in your drive because it automatically creates that folder for you. Uh, the one that we need right now is this one that is not quite uh, ready to view, but we're going to right click on this or uh, and then we're going to go to get shareable link. You've got to activate this in order for me to be able to view your videos. OK, now anybody with that link can can view it. Once you do that, uh, you can click over here on your uh, on your on your ePortfolio. You're going to click add from drive and then from your screencastify uh, tab, you're going to find that video that you just recorded and you are going to add that uh, you're going to add that to your uh, e-portfolio so let's click on that let's click insert and then we're going to make sure that we get it into the right place here and actually i like i like it when they're crisscross so i'm going to move mine over here and then once you click publish I should be able to see that on your ePortfolio.